People say, how do you do it? And if it's like any other job, you just, you do it, you know? Our only enemy is the rain. Farmer's friend, grave digger's enemy. Even though you might have to do this hard job, you still got to keep respect in, in the forefront of your mind. If you've got to try and do the job with as less damage as possible. What I've been saying to my grave diggers for 15 years is you, when you do a funeral, you do it like it's your mother's. You, wouldn't, you don't think about babies, do you? Mm. Well, we bury heaps of babies. And no one would know that. And that's, that's not nice doing it. I don't like doing it, you know. It's just pretty sad. But we've got, we've got a special section just for babies now. And it's just for them stillborns up to 12 years old. Only kids are allowed to go in there and it's all a beautiful garden with a wooden bridge and plants everywhere. In my job, you don't want to make a mistake. If I make a mistake, I can, you can't just pick things up and move them. Warrenor is our local cemetery, so I probably couldn't count the people I know who are buried there. Just about everyone I know who has died is buried there. I don't want my ashes to be placed in the cemetery. I think that that's really unnecessary. We're two streets away from the cemetery and that's, I quite, I quite like it, especially when, when our kids were young because they used to use it as a bike track. And for a long time we had to um, remind them to call it the cemetery and not the bike track in case they offended anyone. <laughs> I have been there, I did go there quite Quite often when my girlfriend Ali died, that's where I felt closer to her. A week after she died, one of my colleague's husband died. At that stage, I used to go to the cemetery quite often and take flowers from the garden to, to Ali's grave. Julie's husband was buried really close to where Ali was. And I remember going there only a few days after, the, the, after his funeral and seeing all of the freshly laid sand and scrawled across the, the freshly laid sand, Julie had scrawled the words, I love you. And oh, it was one of the saddest and but most beautiful things that I had seen. So um, yeah, they're sharing a tree.